and welcome to my channel Cpana Crafts. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I use Dollar Tree items to make a succulent arrangement and succulent planters. And before I just get started I just wanted to have a little disclaimer and tell you guys I'm not a plant expert by any means. I learn best through trial and error so if you see something um, non-traditional in this video um, it's just the general idea of what you can use different Dollar Tree items um, for rather than their I guess intended purpose I decided to use mine as succulent planters. So here I have an assortment of different succulents that I picked up at my local swap meet for a dollar a piece. You could always use the faux succulents found at the Dollar Tree if you don't feel like using real succulents. And I also picked up some fairy garden items as well as this bowl, this oval bowl, and these rocks. Everything pretty much is from the Dollar Tree except for the soil and the succulents. Um, even the little spray bottle is from the Dollar Tree. So I have my daughter help me just pour those black rocks into the bottom of the bowl and then she um, helps me fill it up with some soil from our backyard. I have a ton of succulents growing in my backyard and they seem to be doing pretty good and thriving in that soil so I thought I would just go ahead and use that. And the soil is pretty gritty and almost sand-like. We kind of live in a desert environment. so. You're going to want um, some soil that is well draining because succulents do not like to sit in water and you actually want to wait until the soil is completely dry before you rewater. Um, I knew nothing about plants until I moved into this house and um, I ended up overwatering a lot of my succulents, but they did end up coming back. Um, so you definitely don't want to overwater your succulents. And you could also paint the outside of this bowl if you don't like it clear. I chose to keep mine clear so I can see how much moisture is in the dirt and all the little moisture pockets on the plastic. So I decided to just keep mine clear. So we end up filling up the bowl until we have about an inch and a half of room left. And then I'm just taking my succulents out of their containers and kind of arranging them how I want them to sit in the arrangement. Next, I just took my succulents out of the containers and kind of just set them on top of the soil and played around with the arrangement. And I chose to put the string of pearls um, in the front so that when they grow, they will kind of hang over the edge of the bowl as well as the string of fish hooks. And I have a little mini aloe vera plant in there, a couple of echeverias, and then this really cool split rock plant, which is probably my favorite, and I didn't have any of those, so I was really excited about that. And then I stuck my fairy garden items in there, and I chose to just do the bench and then the little door so I wouldn't overcrowd the bowl. Um, so once I did that, I... Uh, just took my fingers and kind of just dug little holes to where I wanted to stick the plants and kind of added a little bit of dirt at a time and made everything level. Next I took the white rocks and I just placed them carefully around all of the succulents. Then I took the multicolored stones and created a two by two rock path to make it look like a little fairy garden path. Then I just used a clean dry paintbrush to dust off the dirt on the succulents as well as remove any rocks that were stuck in the bottom leaves. And the last thing I did was just water them a little bit to start them off. The original soil that they came in in their little planters were completely dry, so I knew that they could use a little bit of water. And I'll be watching for the soil to be completely dry before rewatering again. And I love how this arrangement looks. It will look beautiful inside or outside. I plan on putting this arrangement outside when it does get a little bit warmer. So for now, to get it acclimated, I have it outside during the day um, on my patio and then I bring it in at night. 
For this succulent planter, I just used this gray fragrance warmer that I found at the Dollar Tree as well as this candle pillar that I had painted white in a previous DIY. And I just took some E6000 glue and added that to the base of the fragrance warmer and then went over it with some hot glue or right beside it with some hot glue. And I like using both hot glue and E6000 glue because I believe that the hot glue provides a temporary quick bond while the E6000 is curing. But if you don't want to um, have a permanent bond with um, this, then you can always just use the hot glue. You just need to be careful when you're moving it around, otherwise it will fall apart. Um, so that is what I did, and then I just flipped over the fragrance warmer and stuck it on top and held down for about 30 seconds. Since I was going to be filling the little fragrance warmer with soil, I knew I needed to um, seal up those little windows. So I just took some hot glue and some longer shaped rocks to stick down in there to cover up those holes. And I would recommend instead of putting the hot glue directly on the rock to put it on the for on the inside of the fragrance warmer itself that way if you accidentally drop the rock in the wrong spot um, you won't have to take it out and re-glue it because it will automatically want to stick to whatever um, you drop it on since hot glue dries very very fast um, it was just really hard to get my hand inside those holes so that's why i recommend just um, taking your hot glue and putting it directly on the inside of the fragrance warmer if you can. Next, I just took some soil and some of those rocks and just filled it up about halfway. And then I took some of my string of pearls and placed them inside the hole. And I didn't realize how delicate um, a string of pearls are. I've never um, used them before, but I did my best to kind of just fill that hole and then using some stones I kind of placed them around the opening uh, to block the soil from spilling out. And since this planter sits vertically I just let my daughter use the spray bottle to give it a few squirts. This succulent planter is actually intended to be a succul succulent planter. I just wanted to throw it in the video since it is a succulent video and I just followed the same process um, as the other two with filling it with a little bit of rocks at the bottom and then soil on top with some more rocks. And you can collect four different kinds at the Dollar Tree. They have a fox, a unicorn, llama, a turtle, and this little cute hedgehog. For this last succulent planter, I used one of these cute little tea light luminaries from the Dollar Tree, and I decided to go with the smaller one um, just because I really liked the saying on the other one. And I followed the same exact process as the fragrance warmer and just gluing some rocks in to fill those little window holes and you can see here that I learned my lesson and I am applying the glue directly inside the um, little house first instead of on the rocked rocks and it worked a lot better um, so I just follow the same exact steps and then I use that other string of pearls to plant in this one And that's it for this video, you guys. I hope this inspired you to um, create some succulent planters. Uh, I think you can use pretty much anything as a um, planter, but I just wanted to show you some ideas that I had using some Dollar Tree items. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you would consider doing so. I would love to have you here as part of my YouTube family. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.